Um, now everybody's standing around. Um, I'm presuming. Turns to the clearing. You realize they're standing in a giant spider den. There are webs everywhere. There's some great big bulbous webs. Oh, boy. We need to we need to clear those. Are are any of them human shaped, more or less? Oh, absolutely. There are two. Two. Do Only I two. Do I, remove, do I remove the stymied now, or do I leave it for now? Uh, combat. It, 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 combat is now over. You, you're you're going to be fine. There's nothing left to stymie you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ginger, don't forget to hit end combat. Ah, thank you. Mhm. Mm it's not going to affect anything for real, but you know. Okay. Just so we know. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, there there are. N n also, uh, you'll notice that there's uh, scientific equipment littered around. Yeah, um, you said you that. Know, both, both the mammologist, the guy who liked big uh, mammals, <laughs> and mm -hmm. the uh, the geologist are missing. And um, you, what you see are a variety of, uh, of broken equipment and uh, or scattered around. Um, Dr. Beagle says this is Dr. Lyle's core sampling equipment. These are all geology tools. Listen, Doc, if you want to collect it for later, go ahead. Um... <sighs> now her and Hinkle start, you know, riding the cart. They start putting this stuff in it. Um... Tomislav. Yep. And Peaches, would you come with me? We've got to go in there and see if we can see if we can free these guys. Hopefully, they're not dead yet. All right, you got it. I'm gonna put my hammer away and pull up my slashers. Paralyze their prey first, and then liquidate their in inner internals. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for that picture, Chris. Um, uh, I'm gonna pull up my machine and get ready to cut. Like, you uh, know, these things over my have to. Sure. Thomas, Love, take one shock. You're beginning to itch. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, just, just make a, a, a roll a d20 for me. If it's above a 10. Oh, uh, the no. Itching stops. Oh, if, no. Uh, yeah, the itching. If, I said if it's above a 10, the itching stops. If it's below a 10, it adds in, it goes another round. Okay. Oh, Sorry, we're, we're being too noisy to catch all of your signs. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hairy spider legs, they're itchy. <laughs> and they linger. Let me wipe off my arms at least a little bit. Yeah, it causes the itch to stop. Rub a little blood over it. You smell better. <laughs> you look worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, you're right at home. Uh, yeah, you know, I, for a moment I thought Dr. Pig was to say that this is hell, but I was going to tell you, no, but it's kind of close. <laughs> I mean, haven't you seen hell? Dark Pearl's pretty close. That's well... all I'll say. <laughs> Alright, time to rescue some people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Roll up our sleeves, rolling <laughs> up our sleeves. I have no sleeves. I, I'd look at Chris. <laughs> Please keep your pyrokinesis handy. All right. Okay. I mean, the body's still burning, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm this not worried about that body. I'm worried about these in here. Okay. No, I mean, it would be just a quick drag over and just keep a fire going. Well, okay. Good point. Um, anyway, I'll turn around and enter the area where these bodies are. And hope that uh, Tomislav is right on my heels. Oh, yeah. I've got a machete out. Okay. Um, Peaches and Tommy, please. Or Toma, I guess it is. Right? Yeah, Toma's fine. Toma's okay. fine. Yeah. Uh, would you would you please start cutting these down at the ends? You got it. Where they're attached. Yeah, and... no. Be careful if you don't nick anybody's heads off. Or toes. I'm going to put one pistol away and get my um, machete back Don't out. Me. me put the machete in my gear. I haven't put the machete in my gear yet. 
I don't think well, any of are, us have actually put our machete in our gear yet. <laughs> there, there are three large sacks, as it were, all of about equal size. So tell me, are you going to do the one on the right, the one on the left, or the one in the middle? Let's go uh, the one on the right. <laughs> should I'll, I'll you just do all three at the same time. I'll take middle. Uh, all all right. three at the same time could be bad, but yeah. Also good if it's a time thing. Hey, I've got my Zen slashes if I need them. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, I'll take the one on the right. And 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 uh, Thomas Love, you have the middle. Yep, yeah, I'll take the middle again. Yay. All right, so uh, <laughs> nothing bad could ever happen with me being in the middle, <laughs> covered in ichor and venom and spider hair. Don't worry, Toma. I'll make sure to shoot you first if uh, if if it gets out of hand. How's that? Oh, not... thanks. Hopefully, you don't hit one of my spinose platings. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll bounce off. Yeah, you're not allergic. It didn't leave you a rash. Uh, Yet. <laughs> Don't you jinx me, man! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> First class in a cargo airplane, which is not great. Uh, Anyone who games with me would tell you I love spiders. Uh huh. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, okay, so I, I guess uh, if, if nobody else speaks up, Catalia? Or is Rios going to take the one on the left, or is she going to. Uh, no, Peaches. Yeah. Peaches. Peaches takes the one on the left, because she's got the two axes. All right, Peaches steps up. Swing, bada bada. All right, so we're just. She looks at you and is like, "What? You just go split it open on the count of three? No, uh, disconnect it from the bottom. We're trying to remove them from the trees. All right, uh, let's do this. Uh, okay, so um, they they plop squishily to the ground. Okay. Squish. All right, no the, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a uh, I'm gonna take my machete and very carefully. They do seem to undulate a little more than they should have. Oh, uh, that's okay. Oh I'm gonna keep moving, and hope we don't get squished again. Oh, uh, go ahead. Start slowly opening mine as well, just very very slowly. And I've got my pistol in my other hand, so if I need to. Okay. I, I have one. I have one of my slashers out, but I don't have a gun out right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> if I gotta step, I'll step. So you said something first. So you uh, you start slicing, and what you see, you see is uh, uh, a a man you don't recognize. Uh, he he looks like a a native. He's he's dark brown. Uh. You know he, he's a he's a he's a black man, and instead of the khakis that the normal islanders wear, he's got a colorful Hawaiian shirt on. Uh, he's also got one of those coconut uh, decorated necklaces uh, around his neck. It's it's uh, in, instead of a coke bottle, this one's got a a boat on it. And I don't know how familiar you are with like um. Old-fashioned spam or sardine cans. He's got a, a can opener hung on it. Uh, oh, oh, a P38. Fancy. He he's got an old P38. Yeah, an old old, old uh, twistable. Uh, oh, opener. oh, okay. Got yeah. It. yeah, one of those. Got it. I was gonna say P38 would be really handy right now. Nope, no such luck. It, it's it's something for opening canned goods. Oh, okay. Well, that's what P38s do, but... Well, that's door number one. What's behind door number two? <laughs> uh, <laughs> who wants to go next? Uh, well, who went Who went first? Uh, I thought that Tom, was you. Thomas Lob did. Oh, Thomas I went Lob. first? Oh. Yeah, that was, that was you. That, that, and he's, his eyes are rolling. He's alive. Okay. Oh, he's don't alive? Know he was, don't know if he was here. Uh, I'm going to start pulling him out a little bit. Okay. He's kind of... Well, check. I'm going to drag the cocoon. I'm not going to pull him out. Can you check his uh, pulse first? Yeah. Let me do that real quick. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's beating steady, um, uh, uh, very fast. And he's like, oh, man. Did someone get the name of that boss? Man. Oh. <laughs> he's just probably scared. I'm going to pull him out. I'm going to pull him out of here. I'm not going to pull him out of the cocoon yet. It would be the safe thing to do. I'll see uh, you all outside. All right. All right, uh, feeling pretty com confident then. Uh, Peach steps up. 
<laughs> spiders everywhere. Ah! <laughs> and she uh, she slices, and out flops like you know a, a limp noodle. <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Herbert Spencer, the mammologist. Okay. Uh, and uh, he 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 does a face plant in the dirt and his rear ends face up in your face, <laughs> and he's like kissing the ground. But he's also kind of going. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, he just you know puts him in a farm and carrying to kind of drags him a little bit away and is like slapping at his face doing a first aid roll on him he's he seems to be miserable but fine the mammologist who is um what we're back thank you why not you uh, we run out of line uh let's see <laughs> herbert spencer mm-hmm Okay, got that. And Bert. then his friends, all, everybody, all the scientists have been referring to him as Bert. He oh, okay. Bert. Is the other yeah, one a... Ernie? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I I couldn't resist. I apologize. You can take away a possibility if you need to. Um, <laughs> Don't tempt me. Okay, so <laughs> I'm hoping that the other one is going to be Doctor. Um, what is that guy's name? Charles Liddell. Why? Okay. Um, it's Lyle. Charles L Y. I'm sorry, Y E L L. Charles Lyell. Is that who I find when I kind of cut in? Uh, oh, let's give you a prize. You find a whole bunch of baby spider eggs, and they start bouncing around as they. <laughs> <act. laughs> Oh, the fire! <laughs> there, there's only about 500 of them. Again, run! Run, run! Uh, uh, Chris, help! <laughs> what, 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 what's going on? <laughs> what's the I, I'm like, run! Chris, help! The <laughs> splatter and burst as they hit the ground. The smell is amazing. What an interesting smell you've discovered, oh. Hero. <laughs> um, Icker is flowing over your toes in your shoes. Oh, no, I'm running. I am running. Running, running. Uh, and I'm burning it with fire. What? We run? I Kill it with fire. Running, not really. <laughs> I mean, uh, and all the little spiders start swimming like little larvae. Every... Run, 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 run. I'm, 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 <laughs> Get out into the water. Can you not hear us, Jin? Yeah. Okay, hey. roll it. <laughs> he just did. It. It's a standard difficulty. It it it's a giant icker puddle. Well, he I'm, I'm... <laughs> he actually he actually rolled a good success. Can oh, you see goodness. it? Oh man, yeah, I do. I do now. Sorry. I'm so uh, gonna pick up the guy that's in the Hawaiian shirt guy and run into the water. Go go go. I mean, you're standing in pond scum, people. Uh huh. Where's the other guy? Where's the it, other guy? I mean, if you like, uh, like, stop, drop, and roll, it's gonna be fine. Just fine. Yeah. Okay. All of those, so, all those larvae and or in spider babies just take seventeen points of damage. Okay. <laughs> they go up in a ball of screaming flame, and all their little voices sound really tragically like a baby crying. And just, <laughs> oh man. You hear it saw at your ears. As the rest, the, the, those that didn't burst when they hit the ground, bubble and pop and scream and die. Anyone have popcorn? I, ooh, boo. <laughs> um, I, 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 I would like to make sure I take a look around and find out if there are any more that have gotten away or did not get popped or whatever. I, I don't. I want to make sure that we're not going to get bit. Baby spider venom is worse than big spider venom. Venom. <laughs> It still uh, smells bad either way. Yeah, yeah. Um, roll, uh, roll difficulty easy. These things aren't moving very fast, and nor did they pour out like everywhere. Okay, uh, diff you, just you a fine difficulty were... easy. Yeah. Okay. Roll difficulty it. eight. Okay, thirteen. Oh, yeah. That's a good success. Yeah, you just do a little bit of stomping, and they're you're fine. They're they're gone. Uh huh. Uh, look out for more spiders, folks. Let's see if we can take care of these two, and then we got to get moving. Do I need to carry the other guy? 
I don't know. Can he walk? Both of these guys are going nowhere fast at this point. Okay, they're kind of beat up then? Yeah. They're stunned. Do I need they're to carry both? Need a moment. You probably Do don't need, need to carry walk? both, but uh, we might Peach. need to start leaving people behind. Uh, Peaches will tell you that you can't carry pe these guys in in the mud. But uh, give them a moment. They seem to be... They, they're coming out of it. All right, uh, I'll set this other guy down. Definitely. Yeah. Bert starts to come to, and he's like, what? What? Uh, where, where's see. Charles? Jim? Or hey, everybody, where are you? Oh, man. Hero, am I glad to see you. Dr. Beagle, what are you doing here? He's like, we came after you, you goof. Oh man, it's been a crazy day. We were just setting up for our experiment. You know, we wanted to get the work done while it was cooler, you know, before the sun came up. I mean, no sooner did we set that core sample drilling when this huge earthquake came, man. And then all heck bust loose. Uh, uh, where's Jib? Is Jib okay? Who's Jib? Which one is Jib? That would be the guy also recovering next to him. Oh, okay. Oh, that's him? <laughs> uh, he's not awake yet, but he's alive. Oh. Oh, Bert, Mon. You okay, Mon? He says weakly. <laughs> yeah, uh, how about you, Jib? I be living. Welcome back to the land of the living. Oh, I'm on the right I side of the like dirt, but I don't feel like it. Take him up like a soda can <laughs> to see if he wakes up. Uh, he's he's waking up. Yeah, let let let's keep him from puking all over the place. Um. Hey, hey, Doc Beagle. Uh, it was uh, Chaz and I. We we were gonna do those core samples. We're hoping we could find water, you know. But uh. All we found was this weird red sap, like from the trees. Did you get the samples? Did they survive the earthquake? Uh, Don't ask me. I wasn't here. Uh, I no, we did not get your samples yet. We can get them later. Right now, we've got to save, uh, Chaz, as you put it. Um, and Jorge, Jorge is gone. I'm afraid. Oh, man. Man. Mon. Uh, <laughs> at, at this gym, sit straight up. I was like, a broom fella. A broom fella come and he take them all. A broom a fella? A who fella? He said broom fella. Hop a broom man. You know who oh. I'm talking about. Yeah. I thought I wasn't going there. And, and at this point, you guys, uh, he's wiping himself off. There's spider webbing and stuff, but there's also bunches of flowers, both, uh, both, uh, uh Bert and Jib have been laid out with flowers, stalks of wheat and other posies like bunched on their shirts and around their neck. Uh, okay. Why would they do this? This is sort of a weird ritual. The demo. Or... Oh, come on. Oh. It is the ritual, says Jib, looking very, very frightened. Um, Who was performing this ritual? ritual? Oh. Was uh, it Papa Broom? I might have been. Mom? And Bert's like, man. Like... After the earthquake, uh, Papa Broom came storming up on us, and uh, I thought we were all gonna die. Uh, yeah, if it hadn't been for for Jib here, we, uh, I I would have never been able to run off like we did. Uh, yeah, but uh, then I guess the spiders got us, but uh, but. I gotta tell you, Hero, uh, uh, Papa seemed really, really angry at, uh, a Dr. Lydell there. He, uh, 
He was scary, man. Yeah, yeah, I tell you, man, those those broom guys. Oh. They've been getting eerie, man. I tell you, they've been eerie. I've been thinking they might be dangerous for some time now. Like, I just ferry the boats, yeah? Yeah, man, that's all I do. But uh, you guys tip well. So when you said, hey, could you carry this up the hill? I'm like, okay, i carry it up the hill for you, man. I mean, but, I've been uh, here for a month. Jib, are we talking like voodoo scary? Well, there's voodoo and then there's voodoo scary. And man, this is beyond voodoo scary. Oh. Well, either the brooms lost their minds from this earthquake or this was a steady course. Or it was or a it conversion. Looks... Could be. Either I... way, we might have to fight some friends. If I'm not careful. Yeah, it may be... It may be Papa Broom and all of his people, or at least most of them, transformed to whatever we're in now. Well, let's, let's hope it's not a whole bunch of them. Hey, did you say Jorge was gone? Jorge is, in, Jorge is gone. Jorge. He it's, saved our lives, though. Well, there, it's not mine. Hey, skinny kid, right? Is that Jorge's around your neck? Uh, yeah, I found it in his bag. What you be doing desecrating the dead? Don't you, don't you, all? I mean, it's like, what a died around, <laughs> give it to his family. It's like, I can't, what, do you want to just leave it in he, the woods and for some strange animal to drag it away? He only Good. give that <laughs> up if he did. He should have been buried with it. We needed the supplies Good. from it. Jib, listen, are you really going to worry about a ritual for the dead in this kind of situation? We don't have time for that. You don't know much about Voodoo Man, do you? Doesn't matter what I know. When you, lay, to save... rest, you lay it all the rest, are you be haunted, man? Forever. We're trying to save as many people as we can. We'll get that fixed later if we get haunted. Then we'll be haunted. First things first, we make sure you guys are good and get on our way to save as many people as we can. Right. And hopefully... No more gigantic creatures, if um, you're lucky. Uh, hey, the, the Cook Isabel and little Stella, they were with us, Ma. Yeah, okay. about them. They may be gone, too. Possibly. There's no guarantee. Let's just something concrete. Let's not come up with too many hypotheses. Jib struggles to stand up, and he's like, his hands are fists. Man, they mean no harm to nobody. You gonna let Broom take him like that? World's cruel like that, Jim. A lot of times it's eaten or eat. Well, they, he sounds like Dr. me. Li they took they're... your Dr. Lyle. Look, Jim, if they're alive, I'm going to save them. You have my word, but I can't make any guarantees. Yeah, but for now, it's time to get moving again. Let's go. Can you walk? Yeah, man. Huh. We gotta go get some. They're in deadly danger, man. Dr. Spencer, what about you? I'll, I'll make it. Man. Yeah. That broom guy was mean. Well, he's and he's probably gonna home. be meaner. And hang dog. It's like... <sighs> <laughs> it, it, Jib is just like... <sighs> and, right. uh... Dr. Beagle's like, yeah, come on, let's go. There, You know, there's more than one person in danger now. All right. Everyone, stick close together. Keep it on your surroundings. Who knows what else is out there? Yeah, let's go around the spider warren and continue west. Uh, we'll probably look for some tracking signs here pretty soon. All right. Well, I'll, um, take, all I'll right. take the rear of the group. What's the point? <laughs> this time you're taking the end of the group. Taking that well, backside. If we're, attack, if we're gonna get attacked from behind, we need at least a decent shield, and I'm a pretty decent shield. Yeah, you'll get eaten first, and that will shield us uh, long enough for us to uh, react. How's that? Well, you'll hear a lot of Russian cursing and yelling if I get eaten. So. <laughs> and possibly some maniacal laughs. <laughs> That's wrong, man. You're wrong. A cold tech. It's it changes you. Yes. I'm sure and it does. Not, and not for the best of ways. 
All right, can I make a tracking roll? Um, I, I don't actually have the tracking skill, but it's it's not a bold skill, so I should be able to roll it. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Broom and his cohorts huh. <laughs> didn't exactly not leave a trail. They, they There was a trampled bit of grass. I mean, the mud has clear footprints sunk in it that are only filling with water mm -hmm. in the shape of feet. Are you trying to say it would be really easy to track them? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I got a good success anyway, so you know, and only when I don't need You had it them. at a standard uh, difficulty, and it would be like a very easy, you know, easy test. Yeah. So you probably, yeah, so you probably got an outstanding success so on there. I will strike a pose and go, <laughs> they went this way. <laughs> About, so, uh, wait, could you get like a time on it? though like how, uh, how that's far, that's how a good question go? ginger what's the question again the question again uh and this this is good on chris so i i would recommend him for a possibility is how long ago did they pass this way oh very recently okay minutes an hour two um, hours i i would say that uh they can't be much more than an hour ahead okay um so okay so uh, I, that's what i'll relay to everybody it seems like they're about an hour ahead um it seems this water is almost coming out of nowhere and the jungle is thinning out so you know we'll need to be careful and move quickly so that the water doesn't obscure the tracks yeah but the water will slow you down it yeah. sucks at your yeah <laughs> We'll suck Everybody. it up and drive on. Oh, it's pretty um, good story. Follow my, pull my SMG and my machete. Let's do this. Do <laughs> we still want to do the burning brush uh, trailblazing plan? Nah, it, no reason for that. Um, uh, really. Save your energy. Yes. Yeah. Save your to rolls. Make, <laughs> I need everybody to make a survival roll. Or straight mind if you don't have the survival skill. Ooh. Difficulty in this case is eight. It's easy. Is eight? Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh. Everybody, good. I'm glad I made it easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, now, wait a minute. Which one Rio? was that for? Was that Andon? That was Andon. Andon, and, and, and I'm about to roll Rios. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Naturally. Naturally, of course. Um, you're you're not in your swamp slogging clothes. We understand. <laughs> um and. Uh, the only two of the party not splattered with some kind of spider icker. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> are Andon and Rios. Actually, well, Chris should. Well, Chris doesn't have any either. Yeah. Neither does Curly or Mo, or any of the doctors. Well, I mean, the other two guys don't smell too great, but, you know. Yeah, nobody smells too great at this point. Yeah. Um, By the way, he... I'm staring down Curly and Mo. I'm like, you guys, you should have been involved. <laughs> Uh, they'll make up the chance, hero. Go. They'll make it up. Those <laughs> spiders, they just, it happened so fast, man. Really. Uh -huh. Sorry, boss. Y'all are y'all are fine, but keep your eyes peeled, all right? Yeah, they Pretty look kind of strange. We well, need your help, then you better be prepared to, you know, contribute. In yeah. fact, as you as, as you uh, talk, talk about that, both uh, Rios and uh, Catalia standing, still waiting for you start to sink uh oh. no 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 you really want to grab the other <laughs> uh are there are there any thick vines around or can, can we even it. reach them by hand reach my hammer reach my hammer come on um let's see i wish we had athletics what happened to athletics um Nick athletics is a... is actually should be on most of the sheets but you have to make you can't make a, a good check on it right now. Let me let me see something it's, here. It's straight. It's straight strength. Um, see if you can uh, 
Let's see. I guess it's dexterity. Um, whoever's trying to make a grab for Rios and Anda. All right. So you said dexterity, just straight dexterity. Yeah. Um, make a grab for him if you have uh, the diff standard difficulty. Okay. Um, if you have a success, you manage to grab hold of a sleeve or a hand or, or, or part of part of them. Hey, I got if, one. Okay. If you fail, you're drugged down in the bog with them. Who's got the other person? Is it just me? Well, I suppose I'll get the other one. Hang on. Athletics, and it's dex, right? It's just straight dex. Okay. Uh, okay. There you go. I've Ooh, got a standard success as well. All right. Watch where this you're mud, walking. <laughs> this is really terrible, sucking mud. It's going to be a straight strength test to pull them out. Oh, okay. And this is a, it, it's difficult. So the difficulty is 12. The mud's got to hold them. Oh, boy. Oh, well, that's help? not cool. Yeah. It's easy to grab hold of them. It's hard to pull them out. How, how many? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many people can we get to, to help us? You know, just wrap, you know, form a chain. This can be a, 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 a group. This can be a group thing. Okay. I was thinking of being able to use my telekinesis and just pull them out like that. So, so you tugged and you lost your grip. That's all that happened to you. Okay, I guess it's my Whoa, turn. Don't worry, you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, oh we failed. How You're in the you mud now. Yeah, you get sucked in. That's your mishap. Uh huh. I'm gonna okay. take my hammer out. Everyone, grab onto my hammer. I'll pull you all out. <laughs> uh, I would again. I was thinking I could use my telekinesis and pull people out. Could you get them all out? Well, you uh, can't get them all out at the same time, though. Yeah. So I mean, unless you can do a multi-action and roll a disgustingly high. I mean, oh, yeah. I could just keep concentration on it, whatever telekinesis I roll, and then pull you out one by one. Or actually, yeah, multi-target. Well. Switching targets, though, can you keep concentration if you're switching targets? That, I think that was the thing that we were talking about uh, oh, yeah. at the end of Destiny map. So yeah. it, it'd be... I'm going to leave it up to Ginger. She's the GM, but... Oh. <laughs> um, um, uh, it, 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 just like you can't punch fog, it's really, really hard to... Uh, to concentrate enough to get someone out of like this clinging mud. Um, the difficulty is 12 with just brute strength. It's going to be very difficult. Um, a difficulty, uh, what, what, what's that plus a, a difficulty of 14 if you're trying to use telekinesis. I went to my hammer, someone help me pull them out, please. Um, but you can do a group action. Um, if that, if, well, if, every, if, if someone grabs hold and everybody grabs hold of him, and then they all pull at the same time, you get bonus points to pull them out. And the difficulty is only twelve, but you still I'll have take... to you still have to succeed in a dex check to uh, to grab hold of them. Well, <sighs> what did they grab into my hammer? <laughs> that that no, could work. I'm not going they still there. have to. <laughs> They still have to get a good grip, you know. Paul, Paul, easy now. I, I didn't say a thing. Didn't say a word. No, you were close. You were close. No. You're going to. You, 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 well, here's the thing. You don't want them to pull the hammer out of your hands either, right? Uh, so still, it's just a uh, simple uh, dex. Standard difficulty here. Okay. It, it, it's easy. I'm sorry. It, it, it's easy to grab hold of them in quick It's thing. easy. Okay. The okay. so difficulty so, is eight. All right. Ooh. Oh, man. There you go. Oh, man. You've got, you've got I grabbed all of them with one hand and pulled them out. <laughs> so, 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 so who who were you uh, outreaching to? Rios it's, or Anton? It's reaching for Rios first. Ladies first. Ladies first. All right, Rios. Uh, Thank you. She's got you know she she's got hold of the hammer. It's secure grip. Now, um, who's helping? I'll. I guess I'll help. So so is Penny. Penny grabs hold. Peaches. I mean. Oh, right. who's got this? What is your strength? Uh, My strength is ten. My All strength right. is seven. And uh, and Peach's strength is nine. So, um, what is the the mini 
roll? Does that a, is that a plus two bonus? Well, uh, with two people, uh, let's see, difficulty numbers and modifiers, where is it? Combined actions. With two people, I get a bonus of plus one. All right. So, combined action. The difficulty is 12. Make a straight Wait a minute. strength. Does that, oh, I forgot. You've got Remy, you've got Chris, and then you've got Peaches? Yeah. That's three actors, so that gets a plus two. Okay. Okay. So the, the difficulty is 12. It is a strength roll. You get a plus two bonus to whatever total you make. Okay. Here we go. Standard okay. success. Yep. Yep. With this. That's one. With an obscene sucking motion. Oh. Sound, uh, Rios comes flying out uh, and lands securely in your arms as if she were made to fit. Are you okay, ma'am? Rios? Ma'am? You. And and he's still in the sand. Uh, we'll get him out. Don't worry. Let me sit you down. Now, I <laughs> fell in with Andon. Do I still have a hold of his arm? Nope. You two, how close are they to each other? Uh, they are unfortunately. Um, when when you fell, you you, you tried to backpedal. You uh flailed a bit so that you are just out of arm's reach of each other so it's going to be the same test for each of them to pull them out sorry hero you're going last you've been in there the least amount of time <laughs> right yeah uh, anton is looking a bit distressed don't don't worry relax we're gonna get you out okay hold on so one um easy, easy, easy dexterity right easy dexterity difficulty eight okay Excellent. Okay. Now, difficulty twelve, strength to pull them out. Now, are, are you get, are you gonna tell everybody to grab hold and everything else? Oh, totally. I'm not gonna do this so. All right. All right. So, uh, uh, does Rios can help too? Is she gonna grab hold? Everyone oh, of ready. Course. All right. So now, uh, what is the uh, bonus if there's For four people making a chain? Four actors gets a plus three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So roll that difficulty twelve strength. Oh, come on! Well, now, really? Hold on. Well, 10, 11, 12, 13 beats a 12. You just barely, <sighs> with straining and skidding and more obscene sucking noises, uh, <laughs> Anton comes flying straight into your arms as if he was a perfect fit. Are right there, handsome? You <laughs> <laughs> have to pull your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Stop blushing, you're fine, you're fine. All right, Hero, your turn. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I want Thankfully to reach... If I reach out, if we can we make it a combined action if I go to reach out for his hammer? That would nope. give him a bonus of plus one. You have other things. You're trying to balance on what feels like a bar of soap sliding out from underneath you. Your dex is, is used entirely... To uh, stay upright and not. Don't worry, down. I got you. Yep. <laughs> but he, he's got you. It's easy. Uh, now. Um, thank God I brought my is, hammer. Is Rios gonna help? Uh, uh, and Andon gonna help? <laughs> yes. Well, we're all in this together. Five. There's five of you in, in a chain. Five so actors still only gets a plus on. three. It's still only plus three. Yep. All right then. So okay. difficulty is twelve. It, it, it's it's difficult to uh, it, it's a strain to pull them out. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and Thomas Love goes flying face down in the mud. Oh. <laughs> At least, uh, uh, Hero, you're there to uh, block his fall or keep him, you know, from getting completely stuck. But he's down on his knees, um, and uh, he is... Uh, Stuck quite fast. He goes of into course. the mud. Naturally. Welcome to the hot tub, buddy. <laughs> you know, I thought Spots would be more comfortable than this. Yeah, no. I feel very comfortable. No, this is a great workout for the legs, though. I bet. 
Yep, yep. Again, it's very difficult for for you to try to cooperate because your strength and dexterity is used to keep you afloat. If you start to struggle or if you miss, you're going to sink deeper. So it's best to let them grab a hold of you because it's easy for them to do because you're pretty stuck back. Now, Hero, uh, uh, do I still have my hammer in my hand, by the way? Huh? Yeah, yeah, you didn't lose your hammer. All right. Hero, you take it. You were in here first and have them grab onto it. All right. Um, Penny was, uh, Peaches is the next strongest. She's going to uh, roll straight strength. Oh, sorry, Dex first. Dex with a difficulty of eight. If only I had some cucumbers over my eyes, this wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Uh, uh oh, she didn't roll a one though. <laughs> so she backpedals and falls and skids, but she fails to grab hold of you. She's like, "Ah, oh, let me try this again." Please uh, don't lose my hammer. That's all I ask. Uh, <laughs> well, it wasn't a mishap. And don't let me sink. Well. But she, um, um, does anybody else want to give it a try? Uh, perhaps Andon could step in and give it a shot. I think he has a higher strength than Rios. Oh, this is a desk test, just with a difficulty of eight. I have ten for both. You just have to grab hold. Ah, so Andon roll and I both have the same dex. dexterity. Yeah, roll dex. Remember to change the difficulty to eight, and then give it a go. All right. Oh, oh man. Well, heroes, nice doing you. I think we're both sinking. I, uh, just kidding, just kidding. I have faith in you all. <laughs> okay, uh, do we want to try the telekinesis thing? Uh, I. That might I be our ready. best option now. All right. Um, it is difficult to pull someone out of the mud, so uh, it is going to is. It's just a telekinesis roll for you, mm -hmm. but. It is very difficult. The difficulty number is fourteen. Okay. And roll. Who are you? Who are you trying to grab? I uh, hear heroes first. first. Yeah. It's oh, he, co he comes flying out of the mud. He's like pinwheeling in the air. This is how whoa, you do it. Whoa! 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 <laughs> hey. Whoa! I caught. Hey, I caught two people romantically. All right. That's better. <laughs> no, no, more, you, did a good, more, you did a good is, job. It's more cinematic my way. Yeah, hey, you didn't drop my hammer, did you, Hero? Uh, how is this not cin cinematic? And I start making Hero do a figure eight in the air. Ugh. Don't. I swear if he drops my hammer because of you. It was only a good success. You're going to get another scar. Not an outstanding success. It was only a good success. <laughs> if he loses my hammer, you're going to get another scar on your face. <laughs> okay. Nope, nope, that was a success. So okay. um, he's pretty big. Um, you can try with your telekinesis, or we can try to grab him and pull. Papa, uh, save me, Papa. I'll go telekinesis again. Don't rip my arms off, please. <laughs> they were oh, very expensive. My arms were very expensive, all right? Very oh, nice. nice. Very nice, Thrall. So you, you also come pinwheeling out, um, getting like you were skiing in mud. And all of you now are on solid ground. And the pool of uh, quicksand is actually easy to see now that you know where it is. And since you've marked it so clearly. Huh. Well. You mean since we've destroyed the worse. surface of it. Um. <laughs> yeah, you've interrupted the surface tension. The pond scum makes a clear ring about where it is. Uh, at least we're all alive now, though. Yes, yeah, you're all back, please. Chris, Those thank you. But those of you who fell in um, are now coated to the knees in pond scum and mud. Thank you, Connor. At least it smells better than the ichor. It does. Yeah, hey. Uh, Hero, can I have my hammer back, please? Uh, Fresh uh, as daisy. Yeah, it, here. I don't want it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, what next, Kimasabi? Uh, yeah, might Ma, be a good idea. Might be a good idea to rest. Just for a bit of nothing else. Yeah. Nobody got any shock or anything like that. It's just, uh, you are pretty exhausted. Um, a little water wouldn't be amiss. Um, yeah, the, the whole, the whole, you know, the whole drowning thing after going under, you know, that would be a bad thing. 
Well, you know, you're yeah. kind of on a, a rise. You could probably see how far um, uh, Papa's crew is if 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 you rest on that ridge there. Oh, okay. We'll rest I'll on the ridge points. then. All right. Well, as you stand, catching your breath, passing a canteen around, you'll notice okay. that uh, there is a plane stretching out beneath you. You have uh, left the, the marsh and the canopy behind in this rocky outcropping that's headed directly for the coast, by the way. Um, it's littered with boats and pieces of boats, broken airplanes, both military and commercial, ruined machinery of every description. It looks like a bit of a junkyard out of history. Reminds me of home. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, look. Very. We're, we're at the Bermuda Triangle where everything gets deposited. I'm going to take my binoculars down and see if I can see uh, a group of people that kind of stick down in that area down there. Um, You don't see any body, but you see like the remains of a three-masted schooner. You can kind of see the name. You could get up close to it. You can focus on it. Hmm, let me see. Yeah, that one looks like it might be some old-fashioned three-masted thing called the HMS Juno. It's got cannon on it. Euro, you heard of the HMS Juno before? Uh, I'm Maybe. not not my world. Sorry. Uh, well, uh, would this be a Rorsch thing, or Earth thing, or what do you think? There's no telling. It's, it's what do you it's, think, it's Rios? Written. Well, I mean, that's partially obscured by the uh, tail fuselage and fuselage of some kind of propeller airplane. There wasn't any of this back home. This world is a mess. <laughs> this is, uh, some kind of from... <laughs> the number nineteen is written real big on its uh, on its tail. Huh, huh, it's huh, huh. Be to do it, but you can see it. Did we find some missing planes and stuff? I'm beginning to wonder if we're still where we were, or we wandered into some place new. Oh, great. Oh, no, you still feel the familiar slime down your spine of comforting orange. Huh. I mean, he was more talking about, are we still on the island we originally thought we were on? No, oh, that's yeah. not what I was talking about. I was talking about what reality um, are we in? Well, because it seems like we could be in the living land. But that would be player knowledge, not character knowledge. So that wouldn't be fair to you. Yeah. Well, we can feel well, the. To, to the your credit, is. I'm sorry. We can feel a di how each reality feels slightly different. Yeah. Like, yeah. The living land feels primal and vigorating, while this is su uh, suppressing and dark, twisted. Yeah, your technology seems kind of cumbersome. You're got you've got goosebumps, almost permanent goosebumps. It's like. The hair on the back of your neck is permanently raised. Yeah, if you entered into a different cosm, you would know. But lucky you, you haven't. The trail does go around all that equipment. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully there's nothing, nothing hiding in that equipment that we'll run into. Jeb says, oh man. This broom fella, he have big mojo. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's going to be fun for us. Yeah. Like, okay. you asked about voodoo before, man. I will say this. We all went to the missionary schools, and man, it's like the, our gods lost our address. And all the cargo, it be going to the Westerners instead of what was meant for us. But it looks like this broom fella, he got it all delivered right here. It well, is there seems... any sort of protection we can have from this? No, it seems to me like we are really stepping in over our heads here. We need to go, I think. Oh, Payroon guide my blades. You do see the uh, uh, footprints navigating through all this. It, look, we've got our scientists back. Um, we've lost two people today. 
Broom has gone mad in whatever axiom shift we've been in. Um, I say we leave him to his island and take off. But, but Dr. Lyell, he could still be alive. <sighs> so could the children too. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying if you let this go on, who knows what he's gonna do? Yeah, exactly. That that's exactly right. I I'm all for I'm all for obeying the orders that I'm given until it's pretty certain that we're all set for death here. Um we we've, we've got if someday wishes and the lower don't complain. Yeah, we are gonna die someday. But that little girl mom, she only nine. Yeah, that little girl lost an arm. 